One, two, three, four. Coach McCann's here. What's happening? Um, retired risk and receiver. I've had a great question. Basically, what I do is I get my questions when well, I do a video when people ask me off in a week. I get the same question from two different worlds. One, I was asked by my dad and his colleagues, was I broke? Um, and then I was asked by my man Z, who's a diehard Eagles fan, why athletes go broke? So I was like, okay, my personal business, you know, it is what it is, but I wouldn't say I'm broke. Played five years in the league, um, made good money. Basically, what I did was, after my time in the league, I didn't do much of anything. Didn't know what I was doing to do. Um, but I'll break that down, basically, on why I think guys end up with no money. Um, me, personally, I just kind of traveled, ended up getting married. Um, so, you know, when you're not having income come in, you got money going out. You go from here to here to here to here. So, that being said, yeah, when you're used to a certain income and then your lifestyle change, you have to make those adjustments. And if you don't, that's one way people go broke. But I'm going to give you my breakdown of why a lot of the black athletes seem to be broke. And I say the black athletes because that's all they ever post on the media. Um, you don't see it too often with the whites or the Latinos because from the statistics say Major League Baseball is 70% Latino um, basketball football is 70% if not more black to African Americans whatever you want to call us these days so that being said from my perspective from the outside looking in from going to welfare to a millionaire from living in the Northeast region football perspective most of the guys go broke because one ignorance meaning not knowing not the fact they're just doing stuff to, and then two stupidity now I think this is one of the things that kind of separated me um, because me I never believed I was going to play more than <laughs> uh, a year if that Coming from Delaware State University, small black school, um, I'm going against Florida State University, Miami, all the big schools. And I'm like, they're not going to keep me. Why would they keep me? That was the mindset. Now, happy that never changed how I worked out or how I prepared. In reality, it made me work harder um, just due to the fact I knew that the smallest minor mess up, <laughs> I was the first one out the door every year. Oh, my cancer. Oh, well, uh, man, you're on the bubble. Oh. You're on the bubble. The funny part is, I played every year in a new offense. You know, and that goes to say, from college to high school, I played one year at high school, four years of college, three different coaches. Played five years in the league, four different coaches. But yet, you know, that was my that was that's what they challenged me with that I wasn't intelligent or I didn't want to play special teams. But yet, I played it my whole life, all my football career, I should say. But Let's keep moving on why I believe and what I've seen why people go broke. The ignorant part. A lot of these guys come from the South. Not saying much, but you got to understand how they live. The economy is different. A lot of them only have one parent. So you have one mother taking care of maybe several children. Somebody's going to get lost. Something's going to get lost. The teachers aren't teaching economics because you have to understand when you have a certain talent in certain areas and locations, especially what I've seen for football, you tend to get a pass. And that's not for all. But I said certain locations and some people in some situations, it's worse because you're an athlete. They tend to come down on you harder. But like I said, in certain areas, uh, you may not be able to read that well, but you can play football, boy. So we're going to make sure you pass. So you can take care of your family financially. Don't have to read or write too well. Don't understand this. But we're going to make sure that you take care of your family. Because you have that athletic ability. Now I have you. Once again this does not apply to everyone. Just certain instances. And things I've seen. 
and you've seen it too um guys not being able to read how do you make it to a college level and not be able to read nobody ever picked it up why because of athletic ability now this is not a crutch this is not saying this is should happen and i guarantee you more times than not it doesn't but there are certain athletes that have that ability and people know their disability so they push them they said okay you got to go forward because you have to take care of your family you have to you know go to the next level because in reality they probably wouldn't survive if they didn't play a professional sport now like i said this is just my perspective this is just what i've seen now once again that's the ignorant part you know single parent home multiple children you know trying to survive in the world that we live in living if the only way I know how to make money or the only way to stay out of trouble, the only way I can keep my, myself out of trouble and legal is to play sports. That's what I have to do. That's what has to be done. Some parents, some mothers say, hey, okay, if my son stay in these streets, that's where he's going to end up, dead in jail. And that's two times death in my opinion. So guess what? They put him in that football. So they've been playing football from the age 8 to 18. The way I see it is if you do anything for 10 years, you're a professional. Do a professional. So you talk about some of these kids at 18 are pros already. They already have the mindset. So to play at the pro level is nothing. That's easy. Now I can get a check for all the hard work that I've been doing since 8 years old. Now, that's going to the stupidity part. When all you see is the drug dealers, the pimps, what do they have? Material. What are you going to mimic? What you see? Like I told a friend of mine the other day, I wanted blonde hair. Long blonde hair because I wanted to be He-Man. Everybody who seemed to be cool in the 80s had long blonde hair. So guess what? I wanted it too. My grandmother and my mother kept me off the streets so I didn't see certain things. I didn't see the materialistic stuff. But when you go to certain areas, certain cultures, it's the rides. It's the women. It's the gold. It's the jewelry. If you don't have it, you're not nothing. You don't exist. The drug dealers had it. The pimps had it. Now, like I say, this is speaking from African-American black culture. Because that's what they seem to keep putting on TV. Going broke. Just my perspective and what I see. So that's the stupidity part. And then even still, when they do get to a certain level, instead of reserving it, or preserving it for whatever word you want to use I've seen somebody spend two thousand dollars on alcohol the reason why I don't think it fit me in that lifestyle is just due to the fact when the first thing I heard to build two thousand dollars I was like that's somebody's education that's just where my mind was that's just I was like two G's and you know I'm trying to help people I have a scholarship myself at Delaware State I'm like Dude, I asked you for just for $100 and you didn't have it. Now all of a sudden, you spend two G's on alcohol. Now I have it. It's his money. He does whatever he wants with it. But it's just kind of silly that you're spending two or $3,000 on alcohol and women that when you don't have it, they won't be around. At least with that 2000 you can put it to somebody's school system and hopefully they go to another level. At least they want it. When that, when that money disappears, <laughs> so does the women alcohol jewelry bands it pretty much goes with it so i think i'm gonna do another part just because i know what youtube you got 10 minutes so i'm gonna cut it short now so that's just the first part of what i see and what i think on why these young black guys are going broke 